Good afternoon. So let's try this again. <laughs> oh boy, internet challenges in this age of COVID. So my daughter's upstairs. She's doing homeschooling right now, and you know, everybody's trying to use the internet at the same time. But we're here, and we have an exciting program planned for you today. Today we're meeting with Gareth Ham. He's the managing director of Bulwark Insurance Agent, who's undoubtedly one of the most innovative insurance agents in Jamaica, offering one of the most revolutionary insurance products available in the Jamaican insurance landscape. So Bulwark Insurance is a very dynamic entity committed to not only great customer experiences, but also to provide practical, useful, and caring support to its customers through its products, services, and development programs. If you follow them on social media, you would have been seeing them handing out care packages to their clients, so really a personal touch there at Bulwark Insurance Agent. So we're going to be discussing the benefits of coverage. Type hello in the comments. I notice that some of you are already logged on and already commenting on the live stream, so hello. Hi to you, give me a, a message there, shout me out, and share the link with a friend. We also want to hear from you, our viewers. How have you been managing through COVID? As you may have heard, I had it quite the experience. Fortunately, my symptoms were mild, but for other people, not as fortunate. Insurance is a must in times like these. Are you ready? Should there be another pandemic? And how are you preparing yourself to be in a better position financially? We're going to be hearing about all that and more. Plus, we have some giveaways, so stay tuned. But first, let's take a break and hear more from Bulwark Insurance Agent. Here at Bulwark um, Insurance Agents, there are, yes, there are clients out there more than clients. So they're, they're like family for the most part. And if you speak to some of, to some of these people, they will, they, they will tell you. So we, we continue to see our clients um, as family. And we treat them that way. We don't just see them as a number. We definitely saw the need to reach out and to see how best it is that we could help some of our clients. Providing, helping to see how best we could provide um, for them. Our clients here at Bulwark. Okay, welcome back. So, like I said, it's all about Bulwark Insurance Agent today. And let me give you a little bit of background on them. They were launched on July 1, 2018. So this company is two years young, but they're very young, innovative, exciting. And they were launched through this overwhelming desire to provide the highest level of customer satisfaction through uniquely tailored income replacement benefit solutions. Now that's a great uh, solution, isn't it? Income replacement. And that's aimed at satisfying unforeseen accidents or illnesses for its current and prospective members. So prospective members, that could be you. So let me introduce my guest now. Gareth Ham is the managing director of Bulwark Insurance Agent. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Kalida. How are you doing? So tell me all about this concept, about the birth of this exciting company. What was your inspiration to create Bulwark Insurance Agent? All right. Um, so I've been, again, thank you for having me. Um, big up Jamaica and everybody else out there. All right. So uh, I, I used to work with this company. Um, so I've been in the insurance industry for over 13 years now. Um, actually, it started um, in Nigeria and it was an, an agent of a company by the name of Orion. Um, so the product that we offer, while it's not something um, totally new, right? However, in terms of our customer delivery and how it is tailored for our clients as we serve right now, is definitely something that is exceptional um, in our situation. Um, so we started with Orion in, I think, 2007. Um, they have a similar product that they offer for police um, personnel and um, teachers as well. Um, however, um, in working there, I had a friend, um, you know, he used to play football, and I noticed that from time to time after football, he, you know, he had some back pain, and he came like, boy, you know, he can't go to work. And when he explained that he can't go to work, he told me to go to work. And 
and he said that boy just got thing is that um, when he doesn't work he doesn't get paid um so right mm-hmm. away um being in the intro also being an entrepreneur um what come to mind is solution and so therefore i came up with the idea at that time you know the solution to our problems so i did some research to find to find out more about the, the security industry um in terms of their contract arrangement for work and and at that time i started to put together an insurance product that can solve um, um different issues um within you know being a, a security officer and just being somebody who is employed overall as a responsibility uh, so we pretty much started there we designed the product um and funny enough uh, working with the company got the idea while i was there we actually actually moved to another company to start marketing it and that would have been um carbon assurance brokers so i was going to carbon assurance brokers in, in and um yeah, i met the I think he understood um, what is it that I wanted to do because he himself um, would have started uh, a similar way, uh, started his company with that product, and he gave me the opportunity to work um, at CAD and to develop the product and to market it. Now, we started marketing, um, I think, in 2011. Um, before going any further, I definitely I'd like to say that um, Bulwark Insurance Agency right now is a industry system. All our products are underwritten by surgical license. I have to put that in and leave that out. Awesome <laughs> um, so stuff. He me, yeah, so he gave me the opportunity um, to start selling um, our products here um, and we develop the product over time and, and get better at it. However, I spent about seven years here um, and marketing. However, I realized that um, for me to you know, the, the customer delivery, the service delivery that I wanted, I would not be able to, to do that working um, somewhere else. I had to, I, the only way I would have been able to do it the way I wanted to, and the way I know it should be done, is if I had full control. Mm. And in, so in 2018, I decided that I need to form my own company, that I have full control with regard to how we customer experience um, the product and you know the relationship with our clients. And we started there and that there came Bulwark Insurance Agent. So you branched out, you became an entrepreneur, you launched the company. Was it a scary time for you? Yes. Can I tell you a story, Kalira? <laughs> yes, I want to hear. <laughs> uh, let me go let me go a little bit back first. So in December, yeah, in December, January, New Year of that year, of January 28th, I went to a friend of mine church, um, um, I think Brian Mark, right? I think he's Prophet Brian Mark, that's what they call him at this church. I went to his church, he has a nice church, he has a nice, he has a nice gathering away from my family, and he actually prophesied on me that I'm going to be a promotion. <laughs> it was like a promotion because with what I did, there's no promotion. Yeah, I made your salesperson and uh-huh. more money. So you promoted yourself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So <laughs> later that year, actually, while when I went to camp, I actually sit and have a discussion with the owner of and I told him that eventually I'm going to be owning my own broker. I told him from day one. Um, so he understood that when I'm there, I'm going to be there. Um, temporarily. As a matter of fact, our contract arrangement facilitated that. So I know from day one, I told him from day one, that I'm here and I'm going to be starting my broker. So, um, being there and so get to the scary part now. So when we actually decided that I, I need to go on my own if I'm going to be able to deliver this product right um, mm-hmm. for customers. It's much of my resignation. Did all the groundwork, the FSC, the study for, did all the groundwork, all the, got all the contracts, um, found the place, um, which is where I, I, I feel I am today. I wrote my res- resignation and put my habit on my desk for a little over a month. Right? Because I was mm-hmm. really scared as to what is, first of all, I, I, I wanted to ensure that I speak to him. I didn't want to send it through him. 
that's number one. I wanted to ensure that I sit and have a conversation with you. And it was, if you go out, Gareth, this is it. All right, this is it. If you fail, what are you going to do? You understand me? You are, you know, you're, you're doing pretty well for yourself. Um, while you have been in different ventures from, I've always, from as a little boy, going to school, it was always trying to monetize whatever it is that I do. With art and craft from high school. I sell it. Oh, exactly. Oh, so you've always I had this hope. entrepreneurial push. Always. From the school. Always. Yeah. Going to, from prep school, we, we have start to fit it at home, just to it, sell it, and then make money, flip it, and that kind of thing. Um, but you would have I launched. Had... Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Gareth. No, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was going to say, you would have um, launched in... I was actually there thinking, how am, I, how am I going to make this work, right? I had all the plans, um, and then a friend of mine uh, that works at Cal, his name is Mark, Mark of in the Virginia, and I was like, make the move. So he actually pushed me, and I just took my report, went into his office, that's Mr. Walker, sit and talk to him. I just reminded him, of course, that of our first conversation. Remember, we had the conversation that one day I'm going to start him. Um, our own business and it was mm -hmm. a great conversation mm -hmm. i believe um and and that was it so you would have started in 2018 as when the, the company started which was a, a very optimistic time for jamaica 2019 business and consumer confidence was an at an all-time high the business and consumer confidence for the last quarter just came out it's one of the the worst that we've had in quite a few years so how have you and your customers been affected by the pandemic and you're a new company too so it must be rough Um, well, I think 2019, um, I think it started out great. Um, um, our customer base over probably when it started over 200 percent, um, in a, in a pretty quick time. I right? put together a team. Um, when I started, that was the first thing I did put together a team of consultants in accounting, marketing, um, the whole work to ensure that we are making the right decision from day one. All right, so I must big up my team, it is not all by me alone. Um, because I would have learned, my parents also would have been um, interested. I would have learned from them. And just make sure that I didn't make that change. I ensure that I started out. So we would have um, done pretty well in 2018, in 2019, when we recognized COVID um, was, was on. Um, we ensure from it was in China. We started to plan um, this analysis and all that to put stands in the in theater. So what is that we're going to do? Um, if it when and if it Jamaica and then of course when it came to Jamaica, um, our actions um, we rolled out our actions um, that kind of kept us I would say pretty good even today. Right? Our sales uh, while our sales are probably been been flat, they have not been done. Right? Our revenue That's good to hear. Yes. Uh, so we so in terms of how our clients have been affected, well, mo majority of our clients, probably 90% of our clients, are person within the private industry, um, industry. And of course, when it just came and the industries were closed, um, We all know that over there, over there at Bulwark, Bulwark is family. You guys have a very strong, compassionate arm. You express sympathy towards your customers. Um, so tell me how you have been doing that over the past few months. All right. So as we mentioned, how the security industry works, right? Um, um, security officers are paid when they work, right? So if they don't work, they're not paid. Um, so, so, therefore, when uh, a lot of these different industries have 
temporary slowdown. Um, what happened is that these companies would have been home. Some of them are, would have been home on an extended year because they have underlying issues um, as well. So we, I would have been getting numerous calls, people calling, um, boy, Mr. Ham, not going to go on. Uh, what can you do? So what we decided is to do as a team is to put some care packages together. And we went to, um, and I think we reached out to, to most, if not all, of our clients to find out those persons who actually needed assistance. So we put the care package together and we started to distribute them. Um, those, some of those who were in Kingston would have called me back up and out of home, we sent it by some of the best um, career services, um, you know, to, 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 to get it to them. Yeah. It's a family setting. We have to take care um, of our people. It cannot be that whenever business is good, we are all right. And whenever it is not good, they are affected. And we, 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 we Absolutely. Take care of our, of our Absolutely. So, with these changes, then how would you advise people to secure themselves now? Um, well, first of all, uh, one of the things that we did as well is to um, print and send masks out to all of our customers um, as well in terms of protecting yourself on a day to day. Um, and we, we, we recommend that we give advisory um, on our social media platform and WhatsApp with regards to you know, sanitizing, um, you know, social distancing as much as possible. And with regards to um, what is it that we can do, well, we are in the insurance business, so uh, we recommend that persons maintain their insurance policy as much as possible because if you're sick, you're going to, you're going to need insurance, really. Right? Um, you're going to need medication, you're going to need to go to the doctor, and whatever the case may be. Uh, so even in this time, we, we, we promote um, um, our, our health insurance products to ensure that the persons are still taken care of um, if they need the service. Sorry, I was on mute just now. So we have to get used to this new technology, right? With the mute and the unmute and all of that. But tell me, how have you personally been coping, Gareth? Uh, I, I think I've been doing well so far. Um, personally, yeah, it's, it's, it's challenging, but we have been doing well. I am an outdoor <laughs> person. So therefore, I, I'm into football, I play football basketball um you know i like doing outdoor activities with my family and especially with my six family. we have three boys and we're we're close in this family we do a lot of activities together so early um when, when covid happened and we're home for a while then what we would have done is to go to the basketball court <laughs> um just with me and the boys um not too much mixing with anybody else and, and, and we'll play together, right? Though it is something that we would have probably done on a Saturday, but because they were home from school, we would have played with our people. We didn't pick up a new sport during COVID, uh, which is fishing, uh, that I have suddenly seen to get addicted to. So that's a sport that you, there's not a lot of social gathering. Um, there's mostly myself and the boys, um, and it has been, been great. A relaxing sport. Yes, yes. Always a good time to spend time with family. I did the same thing, especially during the early part of the pandemic. Me and the kids and the family, my husband, would go outside and we'd take nice long walks in the evening, go to the park. It was it was nice for a while, but you know, we're several months into the pandemic now and it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's taking a strain on all of us. So is there anything that Bulwark is offering in response to COVID in terms of, have you made any changes to your plans? Um, well, what we, what we did, um, again, from early, when we knew that persons were having challenges um, paying their premium, again, because they weren't working um, for a period of time. We developed a premium loan program. Um, so not because it says loan, it is an interest. It's a zero interest. <laughs> so it's interest-free, right? It's a premium loan who want to work at a new person with new challenges 
what we did was to loan him the premium uh, for the insurance and then have an arrangement for it to be yeah, taken back from your salary over a three months um, period. So therefore, what would have happened is that um, they wouldn't have a lot of coverage, right? which is extremely important. And we would have kept it um, as well. Uh, mute again. So how can persons get in contact with the company and update the company on what has been happening with them? So if you're experiencing something, if I'm experiencing something as a customer, how can I get in touch with you? All right. Um, or if things have recently yeah, well, changed, was, how can they let the company know? Yeah, exactly. So what we, we recommend um, that person call in whatever information, um, if, if you have to change up address, you know, um, you want to add beneficiaries to your policy, or you want to pay for some beneficiary, uh, we have a WhatsApp number, which is 876-317-3469, right, that's 876-317-3469, um, if you need to send updated information, you can always WhatsApp or call that number, or you can call um, our office um, at 876-613-0614. Um, that's 876-613-0614, or 876-613-6829. Um, you can always, always feel free to reach out to us on our various social media um, platforms um, as well. There's an Instagram, there's official bulwark on Instagram, and Facebook, um, and also, um, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, yeah. You can reach out to their message up there at those places as well. Thank you so much, Gareth. So Gareth is going to uh, join us again, but for now, we want to turn to our very first giveaway, right? So Gareth, are you going to do the giveaway? Um, let me just tell you, though, based on everything that he has said, Bulwark has, you know, made themselves cemented in our minds that their mantra is insurance made easy. But because they are so invested in their customers, I've begun to feel that the mantra should be at Bulwark, you are family. Wouldn't you agree, Gareth? I think so. I do agree. <laughs> <laughs> at Bulwark, you are family. I like family and in fact as we spend time spend value, valuable time with the bulwark family on this platform some of you are going to be walking away with some useful prizes what kind of prizes do you have uh, i don't know i think you you, you do that <laughs> um i don't know <laughs> All right, so I have $1,500 call credit, and that is for somebody on Instagram. And it depends on, so you must be following both me and at Bulwark, official Bulwark JA on Instagram in order to win. So the first person to comment on both my page and Bulwark's page, the official office address. So tell me, where is Bulwark? located what's their official office address you have to comment boy this is this is a tricky one so you have to come you have to switch back and forth between the live streams where is bulwark located in yourself fifteen hundred dollars call bulwark Guys, has my memory to virtual work GE. It's a credit free, my favorite price. <laughs> so, several of your customers are.
Hello, everybody. I'm back. So sorry about that, but I'm back on now. And I hope you had an opportunity to, to go over to my Instagram, to Official Bulwark JA's Instagram as well. Leave your comment in order to win that $1,500 call credit and we have some other giveaways coming up throughout the program as well we're going to be giving away some uh, some discounts on your insurance premiums i know that we have a lot of bulwark followers a lot of bulwark customers on the live so in the meantime though let's continue uh with hearing from gareth ham who's managing director of bulwark insurance agents so gareth Several of your customers, like I said, are logged in on this live. Tell us about that family relationship that your customers have been enjoying. Okay, you hear Kalina? Yes, I'm hearing you. Um, we're having a, a few challenges oh, with Kalina. hearing you, though, though Gareth. I can, no, so I, I can hear you, but we could hear you better if you move the microphone around to your mouth. So just do that for me for a little bit, and let me see what the um, let me see what the customers are saying on the, the Instagram live. I think I got knocked offline just oh, now. Yeah. I got knocked offline earlier. All right, have you adjusted the mic? Yeah, you hear me? Any better? Okay. All right. Cool. Last question again, Kalida. Okay, so tell me some more about your customers, your customers who are logged in on this live. Tell us about that family relationship that Bulwark customers have been enjoying. Yeah, um, I, you, I don't even know if you know how to explain it. The only way I can explain it is that you're family. And family in the sense that you know how you, uh, you're close with your family, um, you, you respect your family member. Right, but but your friends with them, and that's kind of the relationship that we have um, with our customers. Right, we have um, different um, what do you call it now? Administrative uh, personnel, right? And and Nadine Edwards is one of our um, is well, is our manager, admin manager here, and she of course we have had a lot of customer relations um, kind of conversation with our agents and myself uh, with our clients. And myself as well and for the most part we are able to, to talk about anything yeah we are able to speak to me on a lot of things um sometimes ask me for a lot of things <laughs> um but then the relationship is of such where um they're able to, to, to speak to us to share with us and for us also to understand their challenges so therefore we can ensure that our product gets served um, their interest because it should always be about the customer, right? It should always be about the customer and their needs, not about uh, as an agent making a sale um, and, and, and numbers. So the relationship is as such that Absolutely. we are comfortable with each other and that we, we ensure that their needs are being met um, every single time. We are not perfect, we are still getting better, right? We are still improving, we are still listening to our customers um, for them to tell us whenever it is um, that we, we, we fall down. Uh, and wherever it is that we are able to do, to do better, so therefore we can serve them better. Absolutely. So, so viewers, those of you who are already customers, you can also share in the chat just a couple of words to describe your relationship with Full Work. We want to know, and while we hear from the CEO his thoughts, we also want to hear your thoughts on on how. Bulwark has impacted your life. So Gareth, you mentioned being drawn towards security guards in the early stages of the company. Tell me about what specifically your company offers for that industry. All right, so for the private security industry, you know, we, we have two products in particular, probably three uh, that, we, that we offer to them. One of them is a guard income protector. And again, so the company started on that. Right? We started on, on, a, on a product, which is a guide in home protection. Can I just give, I'm not sure, a, a, a short story with you, um, Alida, before even going to that. Mm -hmm. So when I decided that I wanted to go down this road in front of the I actually went on the road uh, myself to the officers to get a feedback um, from them as to what is it, that, what are your needs, and how is it that, as an insurance person, I can provide a solution?
solution for that. And there was this one particular situation of um, that I spoke to. I'll never forget. As a matter of fact, I did the amateur um, reenactment um, of that conversation um, that I have on, on, on my YouTube um, channel. And even though it's, it's amateur, we have grown this much. I decided to keep it there. I didn't want to change it um, because it will tell a, a little of our history um, as well. Um, so here's this young man that I spoke to, and he used to. That I remember everything. He used to post that the, the support of headquarters and both of us, right? And he told me of an experience that he had when he was riding on his bicycle. He said he was going home from work, riding on his bicycle on Balmora um, Avenue and riding down uh, a guy, a car stopped. And I think that car they stopped was lifting off somebody and they opened the door um, on him and he grabbed onto his brakes and took over. Right? And if you scroll over, wow. he broke his, yeah. if you scroll over, he broke his jaw. So he had a broken, he, of course, he, he, was, he, he said that he was not so. He didn't remember anything else until he was at the hospital. And then when he was at the hospital, um, that, that's when he knew that, you know, he, he, he actually broke his jaw. He woke up with his by a truck. Wow. And he said, <laughs> He said that he was out for a couple of days to blend his food. He was out of the and he had to blend his food and he had to blend his food. Um, however, while he home at that time, he, of course, he would be getting a salary. Yeah? And his bills have to be paid. He had children. Um, you know, so it was very mm -hmm. rough financially um, on him and, and, and on his family. And he said that he had to force himself to go back to work. Right? With his mouth wide shut, he had to force himself to go back to work because that's the only way that he would have been earning a, a income. And so he, I find his employers uh, agree to have him to go, uh, go back to work. They took him at a location where he had to um, operate a bit, bit up and down, right? And he said that he remembered an instance when he was, um, a car was coming. He was going to open the gate, and it, apparently the car wasn't stopping, and the car was coming down to the gate, and he somehow forgot that he was not supposed to attempt any at all to open his mouth, and he opened his mouth to shout at the, the caller and the, and, and, and the driver of the car, all right, and irritate that old jaw all over again. It was in the same so these are some of the examples that are shared oh, um, out there. That's another example that I shared out there. Um, so when I went went in the field to research and to find out how is it that you know I we could design a product uh, um, to serve these people, and when we came up the product, then I believe that at the time it was perfect. Well, not perfect, but it was at least something that they didn't have at all, right? So the, how the product works, um, it has different um, functions of it. Um, so it's a guard income protector. Um, it carries an income replacement component to it, wherein if a security officer is unable to work, wow, uh, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we actually have one of your customers. We actually have. There's a bit of a delay between myself and Gareth. So, so those of you who on, we also have a winner of the credit. Congratulations to Diana Watson, who commented over on my Instagram page. You've won the fifteen hundred dollars call credit. And just stay tuned for a little bit, and I'll tell you how you can claim your prize. But in the meantime, I have one of your customers. His name is Clinton. Clinton is a security guard. So, so far, we've been hearing Gareth with some stories from some of your customers, that guy on the bike with um, whose jaw was wired shut. That's just crazy. But Clinton, how long have you been a customer with Hey Clinton, what's up? Let me to unmute the mic, Clinton. Turn on his camera. 
Okay. There he is. He, why are you, why you having a handsome face, Quinton? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> afternoon. How long have you been a customer with Bulwark? Um, um, over five years. Over five years now. Five years. Yes, well, hasn't Bulwark, years. Bulwark started in 2018? No, two years. 28, no man, 2018. No, 2018. We've, we've been selling products uh, with Carbon Assurance Brokers before um, Bulwark, the company, was formed. Yes, that was, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. You hearing me yeah. now? You've been with the program for five years, and tell me how this has, yes, how this has impacted your life. Well, for me, Bulwark, I think Bulwark is the best thing to happen to the private security. I mean, um, in before I, when I just get un introduced to the to the program, it wasn't that interested. I, to be honest with you, I didn't it didn't interest catch me at that time. So it, I take a little while before you know one day I was going through some documents and I. I, I run back to the, 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 the brochure and I read it. And then I, I, I you know, I, it's an interesting. So I call back Mr. Ham and I tell him that I really want to sign up for this insurance. Anyway, I was there throwing it and so good. In 2018, I was driving home from work, fell asleep around the steering wheel and collided with a poster bus. And I, wow. I, break, my, I break my right hip and my, my right thigh. And I was out of a job for one year and nine months. Wow. And in space at that time, is the Bulwark insurance I really live, you know, helped me support me for that such long. Uh, yeah, pay my bills and support, help me to, to, to send my daughter to school. You know, every little thing, it, it take care of me for this one year and nine months. Wow. Garrett, a whole year. Nine months you were able to provide that come support for for Clinton. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how long have you been a security guard, Clinton? Um, eighteen years now. Eighteen years, and during yeah. that time, did you have insurance before Bulwark? No, I don't have insurance like um life insurance but is this insurance i didn't have anything like this before nothing like this just life insurance not health yes. or income replacement no nothing like this and even as a security guard this is affordable for you very affordable very affordable very affordable i can recommend i can imagine that it's very affordable. I can imagine that after you had your accident, you thought this was a lifesaver, almost literally, right? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Because at that time, I don't have any other income nowhere coming in at that time. How many children you have, Clinton? Um, two, two, two girls. Two girls, two lovely girls. And so this policy allowed you to provide for your family at this very, very difficult yes. time. Yes. So, so Gareth, is this the type of story that you hear all the time? Exactly. So, yeah, the, the, the majority of the, the story that we hear, Kalida, is, is like this. Um, as you, you, hear, you heard Clinton saying that is probably the best thing that ever, has ever happened to them, right? And being being in the space and speaking to security officers and offering this product to them, I can say that they feel empowered um, by just having this, by just having something that was designed specifically for them. They, they, they feel empowered and believe that you know somebody actually is here looking out for them um, and 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 have the best the best interest at, at heart. Mm hmm. Thank you so much for joining us, Clinton. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Uh, Clinton, thank you. All right. Okay. Well Appreci done, sir. Thank you. I appreciate hearing that story. You know what they always okay. say, the time to buy insurance is when you don't need it. 
So at the time when you, you, you're perfectly healthy, no accidents have happened, no nothing, that's when you need to buy insurance because you can get a more affordable rate usually. And also you are set for the time when you do need that assistance because when you already have the accident, it's kind of too late, <laughs> right, Gareth? That, that's it, um, Khalila, because the thing is, you know, a lot of times we, we think that, hey, I'm all right, I don't need it, right? But for, especially for an accident, um, nobody knows, no one knows when is it that it's going to happen. How exactly. It's it going to be, right? And if you're going to be in a, in a financial situation where you're able to keep yourself up. So for the most part, what you find happening is that for a lot of people, Right. What makes their situation worse is because they can't afford to take care of themselves whenever it happens. Not necessarily because they're missing an accident or they have a, they have a sickness, right? Because if you're able to do the necessary surgery, to do the necessary treatment, right? If you're able to not rush back to work for so whatever injuries you are aggravated, then you will eventually come in out come to more better. But to one exactly. Do it, let, let me share a quick, a quick story. Um, with you. And I have so much of them, right? Because I've been doing this for a while and I've had so many experiences with so many clients. Um, I had this client who had her for us. Um, for some reason, not sure why, but he discontinued it. Right? And when he discontinued it, he actually called me one evening to say to tell me that um, hey, he was home cooking and he so I'll turn over man in hand and burn it. I said, No, but you're supposed to go because you have our product. I knew that he had it. I'm saying, no, you're supposed mm -hmm. to do man, just let me go through the necessary process, complete the necessary document. Then he said to me, boy, you know, Mr. Hammond, it's stop it, you know. Yeah, and I said, Mr. Hammond, how we can start ah. it, so we can treat it. Yeah, and I've had a few of those, right? I've had a few of those. And so we say to our, our, our clients, right, and even those who probably would have canceled their, pol their policy for whatever reason, um, you never know when you're going to need it. And that is why you have it. So therefore, when you need it, there. Uh, you can't come back whenever something happens and just say, let me sign up again. It, it, it just doesn't work that way. So just before we continue, Gareth, so Diana, Diana Watson was the winner of our $1,500 call credit. Diana, I want you to, to send a DM to Official Bulwark JA on Instagram. So tell them your name and your number, your contact number and your network. So which call network do you have so that you can claim your $1,500 call credit? We have another giveaway coming up that. soon. And this one will be this one will be for our YouTube followers. So those of you who are watching on YouTube, we have another fifteen hundred dollars call credit being given away very shortly. But but Gareth, coming back to you now, we've heard about Clinton. Well, we've heard from Clinton saying that you know he didn't have insurance. He's been a security guard for eighteen years. He didn't have insurance until Bulwark came along, until you came along, and he's been with you now for five years. So what kind of impact has Bulwark had on the security industry. Is this an area that was previously underinsured or perhaps still underinsured? Uh, um, let me use one of the questions. Big list. Why is that? The impact has been huge. Um, again, because it's an underserved um, industry. Right? It's an underserved um, industry. Um, so when I, when I went in, it was not easy because it was difficult to sell the idea because that's what insurance is, an idea until you need to use it, right? So it was kind of challenging to sell the idea um, to them. Mm -hmm. and they, have never heard of it. they have never heard of me before. So even before it was Bulwark, then it was Garrett Hunt out there um, marketing a, a product. So they, they, I would have probably been new to them. They have never heard um, of me before. It was challenging selling the idea. Um, you would have heard some people say this too, but this too, right? Wondering if it worked, because again, a lot of them would not would not have been exposed to this kind of product. Yeah. Um, so, but the industry itself, I believe, um, have been, should I say, have been neglected. But, um, but I don't mind. I wouldn't have a business if it was. <laughs> but it would have been neglected. So they wouldn't have had a lot of attention. Um, for that industry. So when we came up with the product and start marketing it, using the different marketing strategies to get through to people, it then became 
they, they, they didn't appreciate it, right? So it then became easy after they start warming up to me um, because then they actually have a company that actually have someone who was presenting something for them um, as an industry. And it's also welcome and a lot of the things that we did after um, for them, like an actual who we said for an interview as yet, for the last year, um, I believe it was, we um, hosted a family fund day um, for security officers and their, and their family. And something that was totally free um, for them. We had entertainment, we had- That's nice. That they were able to do. Um, I think it was 100% free, we had um, information on teaching moments and investment um, from, from Sajikor, I think from Sajikor investment. Um, entertainers like Wayne Marshall, Ryan Mark, um, some other persons were there. Um, up down painting, things for the kids. I'm saying it's more it was more of a family um, event, and it, it, it was great. They they, they appreciated it. Um, you know, you know when you're putting on an event, you're, you're wondering if it's going to come out nice and what the turn is going to be. Yeah. Like, it's going to be what they thought it was, and then until you do it, and then I said to myself, it cost a lot. <laughs> Was one of the most expensive project yet. That's a lot. Um, the rest of the team was, yo, you sure you want But I'm sure, but I'm sure you secured, I'm sure you secured the loyalty of your customers. And it really proved that Bulwark is family. Yes, they, 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 they appreciate it. And they let me know um, how much they appreciate. Some of them have never gotten that. And I, I, was, I was shocked. Some of them have never been to something like that. They have never been able to see your family. Um, so something like that. Some of them appreciated the break on that day. Even when we went to the, the Hope Zoo and yeah. they the asked what are we going to do for security, I told them that I didn't want any security officer working on that day. So we got the police in as security. But we didn't want any security officer <laughs> that day while I wow. um, for security officers. So we got the police in. See, it's, a, it's the little things. While they enjoyed themselves. It's the little things that count, you know, little details like that just make such a huge difference. But, but coming back to the point, Gareth, about security officers being underserved in the insurance industry, is it because a lot of them are paid minimum wage, so they're not taking home a lot, the, the earnings aren't that great, and they feel like they can't afford insurance? Uh, it, it could be, but we were able to put together um, a product that was priced for them. And one of the things, and I'm happy you brought that up, Alula, because how security officers are paid, um, they have different components here, right? So they're paid depending on how many hours they work. They're, they're paid depending on if they carry a firearm, firearm. They're paid depending on if they have a canine. And for some of them, they're paid depending on, depending on the location that they operate from. And so what we did, we didn't want to create a product with just one price because we know that if you create a product with one price, chances are some will be able to afford it and some won't. So we created all of our products, especially for the private security industry. We created with different options, right? And even though it's a different options, you have all the benefits, but the value of the benefits differs with regard to possibly what is it that you can afford. And understanding what possibly the least that they're able to, to to pay, we at least we know have a product that is at least a thousand dollars, one thousand one hundred dollars per fortnight. And we're saying you should make at least a sacrifice to afford this. Meaning that if you're going to, you know, buy a beer less, you understand me? Buy some cigarette, buy some buy less cigarette this week or this month. Yeah, if you break it down to per week, you're talking about less than um, two hundred dollars or about two three hundred dollars per week. You're putting aside. Um, to ensure that in your time of need, you actually have something that you're going to be providing income for at least up to $30,000 per week, right? If you compare the investment to the income, so to the benefit, it's day and night, really. Right? And, and this is how we, we, we kind of present the information to them, um, you know? But we, we, what we ensure to do is that we created products that fall in their, their salary range. And trust me, they are not treated with regard to the benefits and the service um, that, we, that we provide to them. 
not because they are security officers. As a matter of fact, I think we give them a little bit more service, um, knowing that they don't work in just one central location. They don't get regular lunch time like everybody else. Um, and they can't come to us, so therefore, for the most part, we go to them, and have their positive um, delivered to them. If they are injured, we go to them. If they are in the hospital, we go to them. Um, for the most part, we have services that go directly to their people. Yes, yes. Uh, it's, I'm so glad that you have really brought this group in because, like, I, like you've noted, they've been underserved and largely ignored by your industry, by many other industries as well. So we're going to have another uh, giveaway coming up very soon over on my YouTube channel. So YouTubers, stay tuned. In about five minutes or so, I'm going to be doing uh, another giveaway of $1,500 call credit for you. But Gareth, I want to talk to you. Uh, I want you to talk about the Guard Income Protector, the GIP, G-I-P. Tell me what that is and how people can benefit. All right. So as the name suggests, Guard Income Protector, um, so of course, it protects the income, you know, from accidents, uh, unforeseen um, situations. Uh, so the guard income protection has several benefits that um, covers the insured in this instance, the security officer. That also covers their spouse. They are also able to cover their children, and they are also able to cover their parents and parenting law, right? Um, like for example, again, I was saying before, you have you know, so the product start at, at we have four options that they be able to choose from, and it starts from a minimum of $1,100 per fortnight, right? Again, depending on the, 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 the option that they, they choose, right? And if you pay at least salary um, or replaces income, so to speak, of the $30,000 per week, you know, depending on the plan that they choose, it also includes physical illness and covers them for 11 physical illness, right? And a million dollars per physical illness. So, therefore, unfortunately, if you um, should be affected by more than one physical illness. Um, it will cover them for at least a million dollars for each of those. Um, they reimburse up to two hundred thousand dollars, right, um, for their medical expenses. So, for example, if they have to spend money for on prescription drugs and stuff like that, then we will reimburse um, these money to them um, with a deductible of two thousand dollars. And so, in essence, what it means that if they spend over two thousand uh, dollars, we deduct back everything up to. Um, up to, to $200,000. Um, it covers them for natural debt um, for up to $3 million, again, depending on the plan that they, they would have chose, uh, and also for not accidental death and dismemberment um, up to $4 million. So these are all the benefits that they would have gotten um, in terms of insurance benefits. And one of the things that we do um, as well, we, we have partnered with Short Time Medical. Um, wherein if any of our clients right, should have a situation for them or any of their dependents and they need ambulance service, once they call us, we put them on the short time and we give them at least one free ride. So we pay for that at least one free ride within any given year, policy year. Right? So that's an additional benefit um, to, to our, our clients. Um, so they are also able to ensure their spouse and their children. Cost of $140 per, net, per, per fortnight to insure um, a child, and they can insure more than one child, um, at least any amount of children that they have. And their spouse, they are also able to insure their spouse as well, and it costs um, $222 per fortnight to insure their spouse. Um, they are also able to insure, again, their parents and their parents in law. Uh, that price varies because it's at a rider, and it's depending on the age of the parents, it's depending on the value. Um, of, the, of, of the coverage that they want for the parents. Um, but I think it starts from a little as for like $200 per, per fortnight or, or something like that. It, but it depends. It depends but Gareth, Gareth, these prices are so affordable. Like, I, I know you said 90% of your clients are, are security guards, but with such an affordable policy, I know a lot of people who would want to buy this. So, so can anybody just call you up and sign up for a policy? Well, for this particular policy that we just talked about just now, it's only geared to for persons within the private security industry. Um, can I okay. say though, that we that we are working uh, have worked on waiting on some approval uh, regulatory approval from the SSC um, for for products um, similar or even a little bit 
chance um, for, for, for persons within the private sector. But I can't speak much about that right now. Okay, well, we're going to look forward to, to hearing those announcements when they're made. So it's time for our second giveaway. And this one is for somebody who is watching right now on my YouTube channel. You can win $1,500 call credit. But you have to be following uh, Bulwark on Facebook as well. So here is the question. All, all you have to do is be the first to comment Bulwark's two mantras. So comment on my YouTube channel, Bulwark's Two Mantras. I've said them many times. If you watch Taking Stock on my YouTube channel, you know the official mantra, because you would have heard that in Taking Stock, what Bulwark's official mantra is. You probably can hear it in my voice, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we have an unofficial mantra, and we've said that many times so far during this live stream. So just comment that. What are Bulwark's Two uh, two mantras. Comment that on my YouTube channel and you can win yourself $1,500 call credit. And when I announce the winner, then I'm going to tell you how you can claim your prize. So at this point, though, we are going to give you a video from Bulwark Insurance Agent. Let me thank you on behalf of the Minister, Minister Chan. Um, on behalf of the, the PSRE um, for introducing this product. As I said, a very, very innovative one. We are quite happy to have and to support this program. The, the passion that Garrett has displayed for the, the insurance industry, but particularly the private security industry, is one that is, is unparalleled. And I, I have always said to Garrett, that Garrett, if there is anything I can do to grow this product and grow your business, because I believe you serve a tremendous product. Let me thank you on behalf of the Minister, Minister Chan, um, on behalf of the, the PSRE, um, for introducing this product. As I said, a very, very innovative one. We are quite happy to have and to support this program. The, the passion that Garrett has displayed for the, the insurance industry, but particularly the private security industry, is one that is, is unparalleled. And I, I have always said to Garrett, that Garrett, if there is anything I can do to grow this product and grow your business, because I believe you serve a tremendous product. Let me thank you on behalf of the Minister, Minister Chang, um, on behalf of the, the PSRE, um, for introducing this product. As I said, a very, very innovative one. We are quite happy to have and to support this program. The, the passion that Garrett has displayed for the, the insurance industry, but particularly the private security industry, is one that is, is unparalleled. And I, I have always said to Garrett, that Garrett, if there is anything I can do to grow this product and grow your business, because I believe you serve a tremendous product. Let me thank you on behalf of the Minister, Minister Chan, um, on behalf of the, the PSRE, um, for introducing this product. As I said, a very, very innovative one. We are. 
some questions in the comments. We're going to be answering those questions very soon as well. A lot of questions there on YouTube. We got my YouTube family. And so did anybody answer the question, though, in terms of the call credit? Not yet. So we're looking out for somebody to win. Somebody was asking uh, which network. So either network, if you have either Digicel or Flow, you can win the call credit. So whichever network you have, just let us know which one you're on. So just answer the question, what are Bulwark's two mantras? And you can win yourself that call credit. So I'm joined by Gareth Ham. He's the Managing Director of Bulwark Insurance Agent. And we're also going to be talking in very, just in a few moments, to the Operations Manager, Vivette Weber McLaughlin. So Vivette, you're there? Yes, I am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kalia. Hi, Vivette. Good afternoon to you. Good to have you on. So tell me, what is the Private Security Regulation Authority's main function? You're the operations manager there. So the Private Security Regulation Authority, PSRA, was formed to monitor and regulate the private security industry. You will know, or probably you're aware, that we have registered over 300 companies and over 25,000 security guards, and they need regulation. So they, and they fall, the companies fall into different categories. So contract security organizations, proprietary security organizations, for example, the hotels, private security guards, private investigators, and security trainers. So we are man we were mandated in 1992 by way of the PSRA Act to monitor and regulate the, the industry. Why do you believe that the 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 GIP, the guard income uh, product is so important? From time to time, we are asked the security guards. Every year, we have a, an annual conference that we meet with the security guards, and from time to time, they have requested of us to try and see if we can come up with different plans for them. Of course, we are the regulators. And although our function is not to necessarily seek out these um, plans for security guards, we act as an interme intermediary. And so far, we have done, we have looked at getting health insurance for the security guards. We think that the GIP is something that security guards can benefit from. And so we have looked at what Bulwark has. We have met with them, had some discussions, and we have we are rolling out this GIP plan to our security guards in our office. So there is an agent from Bulwark here in our office, and for security guards who are interested, we want to make this to make them aware of what is available in the in the industry, and the GIP is one of those things that we think that will be beneficial to them. Yeah, so, so you have a relationship with the GIP then. What's the, the relationship between the two? We, we believe that, like Bulwark, we want to make persons aware. We want to make our clients aware of what is out there for them. So, for example, the security guards don't have a pension plan. They don't have a, somebody, a, a big unit that is negotiating on their behalf so from time to time we look at different avenues that we ben that will be beneficial to them and partnering with bulwark is to make them aware that this is available and to give them the option we believe believe in providing options that will benefit them and will empower foster empowerment and their own self-development yes absolutely i see gareth is back with us welcome back gareth Yes, Kalida, I'm back. If you notice, yeah. I told you to wear your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you for putting that on. So we are having some audio challenges with you before. I think those have been resolved now. Hopefully they've been resolved. Let's yeah. get this money. Absolutely. So Gareth, you know, a lot of people may have just one product with Bulwark and they don't realize that you guys actually offer quite a few other things as well. They're not aware of some of the other products that are available with Bulwark insurance agent, insurance agent. So please share some of the different products that are available and highlight 
some of the products that have been making a buzz because Bulwark is the place to get it. Yeah, um, I, as you, uh, thanks Vivek for, for participating. Um, I really appreciate you and the, that new partnership with us, I believe, have been going great so far and it's expecting to, you know, to, 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 to help to get the word out and benefit both of us in terms of having your officers, of your officers insured and informed um, as, as well. Um, so, as, and, and it is only perfect that you have that now because the, the product that the PSRA at this time probably they are more interested in is our health insurance product, right? Which is GIP Health. Remember again, all our products are underwritten by Sadiqo Life Jamaica. We have insurance agent as it is right now, the independent agent of Sadiqo Life Jamaica. I have to put that in. Um, all right, so we have health, we have different various health insurance um, options. Again, also before we design our products, keeping in mind um, that security officers earn differently, right? And hence we have um, our health insurance products starting from as little as one thousand eight hundred dollars per fortnight. Um, health insurance is kind of common and general um, out there, um, so probably don't mean don't need a lot of explanation. But it is pretty much having insurance in, um, and being readily, readily able to use it um, at a pharmacy, at a doctor, and you have to have your hospital and stuff like that. You have pretty much have like a discount card that you're able to use, which is the most popular form of insurance, um, really. Everybody, everybody knows it. And if you're able, you're also able to include your family and that again for as little and when you talk about family, you're talking about three or more persons. Right? And it can mean three or more persons, meaning yourself, your spouse, your children, your spouse children as well. Um, and it starts from a bit of $3,800 um, per fortnight. We're talking about doctor, regular doctor visits, We're talking about um, MRI, going to the dentist, um, your, your optician, your glasses, you know, pharmacy in a general way. Um, so the product that we have designated for the security officers really um, is health insurance. Guard income protector, GIP, um, parental life, um, as well. So, those are the three products that we have now for persons within the private security industry. However, we provide insurance solution for corporate companies, um, as well. Good stuff. So, we have a winner for our giveaway, our call credit giveaway. Gary, the IT guy on YouTube, you have won. Although you only listed one mantra, the official mantra, which is insurance made easy. The other yeah. mantra, and I said I it so many Gary. times today, Bulwark, at Bulwark, you are family. Bulwark is family. It's all about family. So Gary, the IT guy, you can send a WhatsApp to 876-317-6439. That's 876-317-6439. Thirty-four sixty-nine. All right. So we'll we'll comment the answer in the comment section. So somebody's gonna post that there and gonna at you so that you can get in touch with the company and claim your call credit. So Gareth, we do have some questions on YouTube, and uh, let me see if I can take some of these questions here so that you can uh, respond to your faithful followers and your potential customers as well. Let's see what we have. Um, somebody was asking about. The so somebody said they want uh, dental. So do you offer dental? Yeah, man. Dental is including um, in the in the health in the health package. Dental, optical, um, prescription, X-ray, MRI, name it. It is there. Whatever is usually provided um, under your regular health plan is provided. And well, it, there's one additional feature that you may not get with your regular health plan is critical illness that is also provided. Um, under our health product. So you have a million dollars critical in this um, cover under health insurance plan as well. Okay, and does the dental roll over? Um, no. <laughs> okay, no. not currently. No. All right. Um, Gary wants to know how much is very affordable? What type of price range? And you've given some other price ranges. Exactly. So health insurance is starting from $1,100 per fortnight. And if you compare that to that cost to the benefits and service that is out there, I think we may come out on top when you're comparing benefits um, to cost and also the service delivery. 
And I see that one of your faithful customers actually responded to that person saying that they pay $1,900 a fortnight for basic health insurance from Bulwark. So your customers have your back, Gary. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> insurance made easy. And somebody else says, this is awesome news. Another person says, good initiative to cater to the needs of security officers. So that's great. Yeah, uh, let's see. Right, right. So affordability, like you said, it starts, it's very affordable for, for anybody to be able to do that. We've also seen Bulwark popping up in a number of health and fitness activities. Uh, what's that about and why is that important to you, Gary? Uh, yeah, I, I think probably that's more me than anything else. As I said before, <laughs> I... <laughs> Yeah, so, so we participated in the, the Guardsman Games, um, not this year, I didn't keep this year, I think it was the year before, right? And, 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 and that was well, we got um, some of our people um, interested and to promote um, health, healthy, healthy living, healthy lifestyle. Yeah, and again, we, and we did the, 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 the fun day, which is what we promote there is, you know, family. Um, we promote family. Um, when we did the, the, the family fun day, and we could have gone anywhere, but we actually took it to, to the zoo that gives that, you know, the zoo is where you go when you want to spend time with your family. The zoo is where you go when you just want to relax. And the Hope Gardens where a lot of people go to go picnicking. And hence we chose um, the Hope Zoo for that event. And I probably if we're going to do it going forward will be the, 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 the location again. Because we want to promote good health, and family lifestyle. Absolutely. Bulwark is family. At Bulwark, you are family as well. But tell me though, with so many things to spend your, your money on and not enough money to spend most of the time, right? Why should somebody spend on insurance? And how can insurance help us in our quest to be prepared for unexpected situations? And that's a great question, um, Khalila. Um, again, and, and, and let me just go off a, li a little bit here and, and speak to, to something else. I have seen um, personally where insurance can contribute to your, your personal wealth and also generational wealth. This is something that I personally believe in and this is something that I personally push and the aim um, as we go along with um, our Bulwark Foundation is to invest in your young people and inform young people with regards to how powerful insurance actually is and how it can actually contribute wealth to even if not them today, but generation um, down the line. So imagine you're paying um, a premium for a fortnight for an insurance product, let's say um, $2,000 per month, all right? $5,000 per month, because insurance premium can vary depending on your coverage, yeah? And this is a sacrifice that you'll be able, you would have been making because you have dreams to ensure that your, your child goes to university because mm -hmm. you want to break um, that generational um, poverty, right? Poverty of education and poverty of not having money. So you would have dreamed to ensure and try to save as much, as much as possible to ensure um, that they go to university, that you pr pr provide the best opportunity for them. But unfortunately, um, you, you die a little bit early. You die before you could actually see all of that come through, right? your insurance coverage could actually be there to help to ensure that your dream would have been fulfilled even after you would have died and you would have gone, right? And your, your structure will, will is not just for rich people, will is a will is for everybody, right? You structure insurance policy um, in such a way that for a lot of um, young people, um, even like myself, who would have liked to, liked to get involved um, but I'm not so young anymore. But back then, would have liked to get involved in a lot of business, but you didn't have the money to start it. Yeah? So we are taking out of it the regular health and death and that kind of thing. And now look at how you're able to use insurance to invest in your, your and create generational wealth. And that makes so much the, sense. Exactly. This is the kind of thing that I would love to. Um, invest in where young people is concerned and people in the inner city to educate them. Um, but let's come back to the, to the, to the question that, 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 that you asked. Um, mm -hmm. Insurance should be a part of your, 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 your financial structure, your the, the, your financial planning, 
right? Sometimes it's, it's left out, but it's extremely important. As a matter of fact, no matter how much money you invest on the stock market and anywhere, it can easily be eroded by one sickness or one accident. All right? That's easily so eroded true. By, by one major sickness or accident. And if you have an insurance policy in place um, to, then, to take care of that, not saying that insurance money can be done, but that's a buffer that you would have before you can touch your life savings or touch money that you would have had um, structure to deal with, deal with other things. And when you look at the, the investment with regards to the return, the investment is very small, right? It's actually one of those investments that you need to invest very little in for a great return within the shortest possible um, time. Because you can invest in an insurance policy today, depending on insurance policy. And if and you can reap from it tomorrow, right? In millions of dollars. Again, it is depending on the insurance policy. Um, because you have various types of insurance policy um, out there. And if we want to speak to the insurance policy that we provide for, for our for most of our clients, which are security officers, no. Again, you can invest as little as a thousand dollars, one thousand one hundred dollars per fortnight, and you're looking at um, at least up to a maximum of thirty thousand dollars per week for income. We spoke about Clinton Dent, who was out for one year, nine months. Yeah? One year, nine is there months. A, and he is there a maximum months. amount of time that you would provide that income support? Because that two year, that yeah, almost two years question. is a long time. Yeah, great question. It's two years, actually. Um, the maximum oh. um, period of time is, is for two years. Right? So Clinton and got better just it. in time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we, have actually, we have actually had, I think, one or two two clients who would have maxed who would have maxed it yeah yeah i think we have one or two clients if my memory serves me correct who would have maxed out the two years right we have had one client who have benefited twice <laughs> one client who would have had an accident would have i think a couple of months and then after that she had another serious accident again that brought her wow. up to up to the two years wow yeah. so, so we, have, we have had we have had several we have had several clients um, that have benefited from the income replacement, um, and of course, more would have benefited from the health from the health side. And we have, unfortunately, we also have some that have benefited from from death. And I want to share, I want to share one one experience um, with you. We want, and, and probably I would say one of my closest clients, closest to me, um, and from that experience, probably. I kind of try to don't get so close and so attached uh, to my clients again because um, we ha had a client uh, by the name of Leroy Anderson um, who used to work with Marksman down there in, in I think in Old Chair Linstead, um, who was a dear um, client to me. He had a, had a serious accident um, that he was that made him unable to walk temporarily. It's something that had to do with nerves. I don't remember exactly what it was about. Um, as a part, so when he went to do the, the surgery to correct it, the, the doctors unfortunately broke his hip, right? And when they broke his hip, of course, it put him out for a longer period. Again, I was emotionally involved. I used to visit him regularly, bring stuff to him. He called me, we talk um, very often, regularly. And... Um, you know, so he would have been under, he would have been benefiting from the product for almost two years. And a um, couple of months after he, you know, he, he, he died, he committed suicide, um, as a matter of fact. And and, no. and and that was very tough. And even as, I speak, as I'm speaking to you, no, I'm emotional about it, really. So it was very tough. It was very tough for me, you know, um, being so close to him, you know, following up, visiting him at yeah. home, being in touch with his family. Um, as a matter of fact, and, 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 to, and to lose him, lose him um, like that. And very shortly after that, and so and what, we, what I picked up from that is that we all, in some way or the other, go to mental illness um, um, at different various levels. And uh, I, I think, I'd, I'd, well, I made a promise at this funeral that I would have attempted to do something about it. And we partner with um, I think a lot to shine. I don't remember the name of the of the ministry. Um, no, but Dr. Donovan Thomas, uh, who is an expert on, on suicide um, and thing, and we, we partner with his with his practice to 
to provide counseling um, for for security officers and their family um, who need it. And of course, uh, we would have to wait for the first um, couple of sessions um, and that kind of thing. Um, well, unfortunately, we think probably just one person took it up. Um, I'm not sure because up until now, person has been open for saying that they have issues, they need to speak to somebody. When you hear you need to speak to a shrink, they take offense to that and stuff like that. But we're, and this is something that we are still willing to offer um, to our clients if they mm -hmm. if they call us up and tell us that they need somebody to talk to. And again, something especially that we in an industry for, like um, insurance where. Especially in an industry like insurance, where people can experience some very traumatic situations. That security industry is tough. So we're just about wrapping up now, uh, Gareth. Yes. But before yes. we go, can you give us a little peek at what the other sectors can expect from Bulwark in the future? All right. So uh, the, the, I can't give much of a peek as to look out <laughs> I, I can't speak much i can't speak much to it because again these things are in development they have to get passed um by by fsc and that kind of thing so i really can't touch um much on them but what i can say though is look out we have something um that we're working on um for, for, for the, the other sectors okay that's a real teaser we definitely will that's be looking out all right, we'll be looking out for that. So what are your final comments before we leave? Um, I, you know, I want to take this opportunity to, to thank all of our clients, every single one of them. So while we provide a service to them that probably initially wouldn't have been able to get anywhere else, um, I, I am grateful for them choosing us, choosing to place the business um, with us, believing um that we would have been able to serve them the way that we are and the way that we will whenever that time need um they, they, they need us i want to thank the the private security industry for believing um in me as a person and believing to the extent to extension with believing in boulevard um in insurance um agent yeah um i want to thank i want to thank my staff they're very supportive um nadine and the crew i want to thank um my 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 management team and consultants they they help to make us who we are right and i then want to thank um our board members who keep us accountable <laughs> um of course you know and and help us um, through difficult times so I, I i just want to express gratitude at this time to all our clients and to say that i want to thank of course again the partnership with the psra um, and I think it is going to bear a lot of fruit, right? Um, it's a new um, partnership, but as we work together, as we understand each other, as we understand how to deliver um, service and product um, to the persons within the private security industry, um, I know it will be very fruitful for both of us um, as well. And mm -hmm. I just want to say that we continue to serve um, the security industry. We continue to serve Jamaica um, at large as um, and we will continue to be innovative and come up with products that will not just some blanket product that we put out there and if you want it or try to sell it to you. But we, what we'll do is to design solutions for your problem. That's what we want to be. That's what we want to be known for. The company that design insurance solutions for our clients' issues, our problems, our challenges. Good stuff. I, you have a big up coming from YouTube. Claudette Howell says, good initiative to cater to the needs of security officers. And I, I share that big up. You have to big up Bulwark Insurance Agent. Big up yourself, Gareth hey, Ham, you. for Go being ahead. the visionary in this industry. And I thank you for joining me. Thanks to Vivette. Thanks to uh, Clinton, who joined us earlier. Thanks to everybody who's been working behind the scenes to bring you this live production today. Of course, to all our viewers all over social media, those on YouTube, those on Instagram, on Facebook, hope you have a wonderful afternoon and you enjoyed your lunch hour with us. It's been a great conversation. And most importantly, the people who are on, you guys were just awesome. Thanks for staying with us and we remain 
here to continue answering your questions. You can reach out to Bulwark Insurance Agent on Instagram at official Bulwark JA. And you can find their contact information there too. If you go on their Instagram page or their Facebook page, you can find their telephone numbers. You can find their email address and you can just reach out to them. Or you can, you know, do old school and, and walk into the office, visit their office there at 5 Tangerine Place. 17 Tangerine Place. 17. 17. I, want mm -hmm. to I want to encourage everyone who is watching, please go follow Kalila. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so follow Kalila on um, YouTube, Instagram. There's a, guys, we, 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 we sponsor this product because we believe in it, right? And Kalila, I believe, is you're doing a lot um, to inform persons with regards to how to invest, with regards to how to understand money. Because that's a lot of problem. That's a huge problem I think we, we have in this country with young people and, and disenfranchised this persons that they don't understand money. They don't understand how money can work for them. And when they do, then they'll start using it um, in the right way. Then they'll start making money. Then they'll be able to start budgeting and stuff like that. So I believe- And realizing- something and realizing why and how insurance is an important factor in your financial planning. Exactly, exactly. So we believe in your Kalila, we believe in your product, um, in your product, and we will always support you. All right. Thank so people, you so much, Gareth. So go get it. So you guys remember, insurance is important. It really does help. And as times change, you want to ensure that you have the help you need. You never know what's going to happen. So check out Bulwark Insurance Agent at Official Bulwark JA on Instagram. You can find them on Facebook. They're all over social media. And you see their, their sponsorship in Taking Stock, like Gareth mentioned. So thanks again for joining us. It was a great chat. I love what you guys are doing. And have a lovely afternoon and the rest of the week. Bye-bye. All right. Take care. The PSRA. Smart people do not take chances with their safety or the protection of the things that they really, really cherish. So for our homes, businesses, and community, we rely on real and competent security. That's where we come in. The Private Security Regulation Authority requires all security guards to be trained, certified, and accredited at one of the approved training organizations. Call us or email at info at psra.gov.jm for more information. The PSRA. Regulating with professionalism and integrity. plan might be just right for you. Give us a call at 613-0614 or 317-3469 or come in and talk to us at 17 Tangerine Place, Kingston 10. I am secured the AFSA for the past 17 years. Fell asleep around the wheel and I collided with a coaster bus. It break my right hip and my tie. And even when the car right off, we still have to pay the, the loan monthly. So I love this insurance for that helped me to pay off. The, the, the loan until the insurance could come to. My name is Clinton Benz and I am covered by Bulwark Insurance Agent. In life, anything can happen. It's good to be prepared. That's why you need Bulwark Insurance Agent. Insurance made easy. Are you a security guard? Is your income protected? If not, then you need to get insured with Bulwark Insurance Agent. The GIP health plan might be just right for you. Give us a call at 613-0614 or 